Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is good. Other than, I've been falling asleep a lot lately, uh, which is a very, it's kind of concerning. I mean, I, I'm a good sleeper at bedtime. Uh, I have always been the person that people make fun of because I usually go to sleep at 10 and when I say that I mean I lay down and then I'm asleep <laughs> there's there's no transition period for me uh my bed is where I sleep I go there I lay down I sleep within minutes and I usually wake up around 5 30 or 6 so I'm sleeping seven and a half eight hours a day but lately I've been taking like I've been not intentionally taking but I found myself falling asleep throughout the day which is a little bit concerning but, I have a condition. I have an undiagnosed condition, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is, just because my father has been diagnosed, and that is uh, low blood sugar. Um, he has low blood sugar, which means he has to kind of eat periodically throughout the day to keep his blood sugar up, or he gets, you know, low blood sugar symptoms, which, surprisingly, are the exact same symptoms as high blood sugar. You know, tiredness, sweating tunnel vision, dizzy, the whole thing. I experienced that for most of my life, uh, especially if I ate sugar. So if I, if I had something sweet, I would have a blood sugar crash and I would get the tunnel vision, the dizziness, the nausea uh, that comes with that. And so I would eat carbs to try to balance all that out. And uh, I did that for most of my life until about four or five years ago, I started fasting. I started intermittent fasting I do, uh, uh, I guess kind of eight on, I, I eat at 11.30 and 7-ish. Uh, actually, lately I've been eating at 11.30 and 6.30, so I'm only like seven hours on, and then don't eat for the rest of the day. And uh, honestly, that's kind of, I don't want to say it's cured me, I don't remember having any low blood sugar symptoms since I've been doing this. And that's the reason I started it. I didn't really necessarily start it to lose weight, but I started it to control my blood sugar. And it seems to be doing a very good job of that. Uh, because I can eat sweets now, kinda. <laughs> uh, if I eat a piece of cake, I, it will make me tired. It will make me tired and I'll fall asleep. Uh, but I don't, so I don't think that's what's happening here. I haven't been eating sugar. I basically don't eat sugar. I don't, because I have avoided it for most of my life, I don't have a taste for it. I'm not, I don't get excited by sweets. I don't like desserts. Uh, there are a few things that I, I like, um, like, you know, kind of uh, like a pumpkin pie is good or ice cream is okay or dark chocolate, things that aren't super sweet. But the thing is, when you don't eat sugar, well, like when a sugar is not a part of my diet, I don't, I don't add it to anything. It's just not, you know... When you don't eat sugar often, uh, then you can taste any amount of sugar in anything. So for me, like eating restaurant food, I can taste the added sugar. Eating store-bought prepackaged foods, I can taste the added sugar, and it's not good. It's just like, ew. You know, eating Chinese dinners, like I, my kids absolutely love um, General Tso's. I can't, it's just way too sweet. It's just like a punch in the mouth of sugar. Like everything, you know, sandwich bread in America is just sugar. It's just so freaking sweet. I can't take it. So I just don't eat that stuff. Um, so, you know, this falling asleep thing lately is a little bit concerning. I, I'm a, Hopefully it's just, you know, standard kind of wintertime tiredness because there's no sunlight and I'm not doing a whole lot of activity. Uh, I'm still doing, you know, daily routine type stuff, exercises, that sort of thing. But um, it is a tiny, tiny bit concerning that I can just fall asleep on the couch. I have never been a napper. Like, in my entire life, napping was not a thing I did. Um, I was a terrible napper as a child, and I'd never just go lay down for a nap. Um, I think that's part of the reason why I fall asleep so easily when it's bedtime, is because I don't nap. When I when it's time to go to bed, I'm tired, <laughs> like, and I go to sleep. But um, last night I fell asleep, Em and I were playing... Uh, Valheim, which is a computer game that we've been playing lately uh, together, and she got a phone call, and she was gone for a little bit, and I ended up, like, I started to read, because I knew she was going to be a while. When her family calls, it's it's never short. 
So I started, I read a little bit and I just found myself being tired. And then the next thing I know, I was being woken up. Uh, yesterday, I fell asleep, or two days ago, I fell asleep and slept for like two hours or an hour and a half on the couch, just in the middle of, you know, right after work, basically. I signed out of work, fell asleep. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. And caffeine doesn't help me. Caffeine is not a stimulant for me. So, um, that's another one of my, one thing people joke about is I could literally drink coffee and go to sleep a half hour later and it doesn't affect me at all. <laughs> um, so, I just keep a monitor on it, right? I've been keeping tabs on it and thinking, all right, uh, I haven't noticed any other oddities, so I don't feel bad. I feel pretty good. I feel mentally good. I feel capable physically. We'll just see what happens. But, you know, it is at least a little bit concerning. Uh, ever so slightly. Uh, other than that, work is going good. I got quite a bit done this week. The side job is going okay. I got good progress done on that also, which is great. Uh, so, yeah. Things are going okay. How are things with you? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should notice sounds smart is philanthropist. It is a noun meaning a person who generously gives his or her time, energy, and money to charity. Bill Gates is the most proactive philanthropist of, out of all the billionaires who care to invest their time in contributing to charitable causes. Philanthropist. P-H-I-L-A-N-T-H-R-O-P-I-S-T. I need a philanthropist that would invest in me. <laughs> I've always said I should have been an artist. I just don't have the financial means to live poorly for a while. <laughs>